Well, the jack is there, no? So yeah. if he calls, then he will yeah. have to hold. Yeah. I don't know, he's faster than us. This guy will make us hold. That's the reason why I always get into the traffic. Because he, they cannot ask him to hold. Obviously, sir. Know 
what are the requirement to become a pilot? Okay. So for becoming a pilot, the first basic requirement is you need to clear your 12th with PCM. Okay. And after that, you need to be medically fit according to the government requirements. Correct. And after that, you should have a computer number because computer number is mandatory before appearing for any of these examinations. Okay. And which we get it from the Director General of Civil Aviation. And there are five total five papers we need to clear for the license. The five papers are air navigation, air meteorology, air regulations, and air technical and sorry technical general and RTR. That is the full form of RTR is radio telephony restricted. These are the five exams which you need to clear for getting a commercial pilot license. So there are total three type of license which we get. There is first is student pilot license. Without the student pilot license, you cannot start your flight training. Okay. And the second license is private pilot license. That is like it has a very large privileges. It's for like you can for the privileges of this license are like you cannot carry passengers. You can only okay. travel for business purpose or like for your own. You cannot do it for remuneration. Okay. And the third is commercial pilot license, which I am pursuing right now. So the requirement for commercial pilot license is we have to undergo 200 hours, minimum 200 hours of flying training. Okay. So there are many certain requirements in this, we have to fulfill it in this 200 hours to get a license. Along with that we have to clear these 5 papers also. It's such a long process. Yeah, yeah. it's such a long process and it's a quite tough process to yes. get. Yeah. Yes. So Ali, you talk about the computer number, can you tell us what is the computer number? Computer number is basically a unique number allotted to each student and to, for obtaining a computer number you have to forward all your documents to the Director General of Civil Aviation. After that you get the computer number. Through computer number only you can appear for examinations and all, your, all the examinations records are there in your computer number. So okay. it's... Ali, please can you tell our viewers uh, what are the important things before taking a flight? Okay. So before taking a flight, there are many pre-flight checks. Like for example, if you are going for more than 5 nautical miles away from an aerodrome, oh. so you have to file a flight plan to the control, to the ATC tower. Okay. So that's the first thing you need to do. And before taking a flight, you need to do the, all the checks. You need to check the external surfaces, all the control surfaces and everything. You need to check by yourself if you are going for a flight. Okay. So these are the most important things that are that a pilot should do before a flight and other than this you need to be physically and mentally stable before going on flights if you if a pilot wants to check himself he should check himself with a line called i am safe i stands for illness he shouldn't be suffering from any illness m for medication he shouldn't be going for any going through any medication because if you take any paracetamol everything because it affects an adverse way to go up in the sky okay. Higher altitude. Yes. And as, as it stands for stress, you should not you should not carry any type of stress. You yes. need to leave all the stress outside. Okay. And A stands for alcohol. You don't have to take any sorts of alcohol before the flight. F is for fatigue. Like fatigue is need to have a very proper sleep cycle and a very healthy routine before taking a flight. If you are fatigued, so you are recommended not to take a flight. And E stands for emotions. So pilot is recommended, like if he is suffering from any of this, is recommended not to go for a flight because he is risking himself and the person who is coming, the instructor who is coming with him, is also risking his life also. So it's recommended that he should not go for a flight. Wow, Ali, it is very interesting. I am safe. I was not <laughs> right about this. Uh, thank you for explaining. Uh, okay. So Ali, my last question to you is, what is your mantra of success? Okay. So the first and most important thing in life is self-belief. Correct. If you have a self-belief, before setting any goal, I have a self-belief. If, if you don't have a self-belief, it will be a very difficult part for you towards your goal. And the other thing which you have to follow is a process. There is a process for everything. Yeah. Then the process includes hard work, determination, self-confidence, ambition, and other than that, the focus. So if, if you follow this thing in his life, then his path towards his goal becomes a little easy. 
So that's what I think I mean, this process I will follow going forward to my life. That's a simple and sweet process which I follow in my life. So I think so this will help our viewers to set their goals in their life. Uh, thank you so much Ali uh, for spending such a beautiful time with us and I wish you all the best thank for the future. You. you will become pilot and you will fly high in your yes, life. Thank you. So thank you so much and happy birthday. Thank you.